Hi there, my name is Joan Whelan and I'm chairperson of the Irish Forest School Association. I'm here on this beautiful uh, April morning, um, very close to Dublin city uh, centre and very close to the site where a local national school established the first um, Irish forest school uh, project uh, back in 2012 and indeed where it's still uh, going strong. Uh, so what's forest school? Well, it's, a, it's an old idea, tracing its lineage all the way back to uh, people like Rousseau at the very beginning, uh, to well-known names like Frebel and Montessori and John Dewey and Steiner. Um, and I suppose really in a, in a sentence it's about making opportunities available to children uh, to experience nature as a kind of a co-teacher. Uh, and maybe that's something that we've lost um, in our modern um, world. Um, it's a little bit, I think, um, Thoreau said something about um, as humans we sit within nature's embrace. And maybe in our modern world we're, we've kind of um, distorted that a little bit and seen ourselves as somehow above or outside of nature. Um, so I suppose there's a few key kind of principles that are associated with Forest School in its kind of modern um, incarnation. Um, first of all, access to woodland of some sort, and it doesn't need to be an ancient woodland, um, because this kind of work, I suppose, is very much about mindset as well. So it might be an unloved corner of a local park or a school grounds, um, or indeed it may be a very beautiful ancient uh, woodland. It can be in the middle of the city, or it might be in um, a very uh, rural um, uh, area. Um, the most important thing, I suppose, that idea of being in woodland is about being in the woodland and making opportunities through the kind of um, approaches that are, 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 are through the um, uh, opportunities that are provided there um, to let the woodland teach you. So one of the key things about forest school part. Uh, pedagogy is that idea of kind of moving to the rhythms of nature using the natural world as our clock rather than uh, clock time. Um, so that's, you know, if we think of trees long livid as they are, um, that's about um, the rhythms of nature help us to slow down. Um, I think Robert McFarlane described it recently as in the context of the whole COVID thing, as nature being anchor points in a world of chaos. So time slowing down and enabling us to do that is a key part of forest school. And if we want to do that and learn how to do that well, we need to have repeated visits to the forest. So this is not about just going to the forest once, that's brilliant. Um, but in a school context, for example, we're talking about taking the children once a week over the course of a term, ideally for the, over the course of the whole year, for an extended period, a minimum of two to four um, hours. Uh, and that's the only way that we're going to get in tune with and get to know the seasons and the rhythms and help the rhythms of nature to inform our being as humans. Um, so a bit of training is required for that, obviously. It's a specialised approach. Um, and the forest school leader is very much in the role um, of facilitator. Um, the elder of, of the learning uh, community, I suppose, is another way um, to put it. And the approach to learning that's fostered in forest school is very much about a holistic perspective. So that longer bit of time gives you an opportunity to really get stuck into the learning. So it's not about subject demarcations. It's about using the resources of nature in a playful way to help us to deliver the curriculum if you're working in a primary school context. Um, so, for example, I saw children making rafts using whittling sticks, using ivy to tie them together and then taking them to a stream to see would they float or sink. So you're learning all your science curriculum. You're learning about the resources of the forest. You're learning about your own ability to stick with processes uh, like that and to make a successful raft, for example. 
And there's risks associated with it, of course. Uh, and again, it's about, um, I suppose, seeing children as confident, able learners and us as the adults working with them as able to foster that kind of um, competence. Um, uh, and that's a really important outcome of um, any kind of nature connection activities such as forest school. So it's wonderful to have the opportunity to work with organisations like Easy Treasy, like Cron, um, who, who are focused on uh, tree planting. Um, because obviously forest school can't happen if we don't have the forests for it to happen in. If you want to find out any more information, uh, the Irish Forest School Association has a website under that name um, and there's lots of material available online. Thank you very much.